Hey guys, Ryan here. Thanks for joining me for another video. This is the 10th installment in my Amazon FBA mini series for 2020. And I'm going to show you how to run a lightning deal. This is the next thing that in my mind makes sense to share because when you launch a new product, it's all about gaining visibility. Now, first I'd say run those ads, which I covered in the previous video, but after running ads, it's all about, again, just how can I get my product in front of customers? I'm assuming you've got a great product that's live for sale on the number one e-commerce marketplace in the world, but if it's not in front of customers, guess what? You're getting zero sales. So in addition to ads, there's more you can do. You can run a lightning deal. Real quick before we get started, let me introduce myself. I'm Ryan Hogue. I've sold over $1.6 million on Amazon to date. If you want to follow the links in the description, I've got a free seven-day FBA mini course that I deliver via email. It'll help you get started. And I've got an FBA Facebook community. I'd love to see you there. In addition to that, I publish transparent monthly income reports since I first started selling on Amazon. If you want to follow my journey as an FBA seller from the beginning to now, you can do that on my website and on my YouTube channel. And if you want to be alerted the next time I drop a video, an income report, hit the subscribe button and YouTube will let you know. Last but not least, I've got a FBA full course. I spent over a year writing it. It's the most thorough one on the internet. If you'd like to check that out, if you want more info, link in the description. All right, guys, so now the reason you're here, lightning deals. This is a great way of increasing exposure for your product on Amazon, whether it's newly launched or if you just want to increase its rank. It could have been launched a year ago, two years ago. It doesn't matter. Lightning deals, get it in front of Amazon's massive audience. And what's cool about lightning deals is the normal way that customers find your product is they do a keyword search for your niche. When you do lightning deals, you show up on the deals page. Customers who may not have known that they wanted your product may buy it simply because it's here in front of them and it's a you know it's discounted so i'm going to show you how to do that first let's read through the lightning deals info page on amazon just so we're on the same page about what this really is all right so a lightning deal is a promotion offered in a limited quantity for a short period of time lightning deals can be found throughout amazon.com and are available on today's deals page and the prime day page if it's prime day Lightning deals are available one per customer until either the promotion period for the deal expires or all the available inventory is claimed. Since lightning deals are time sensitive, it's important to complete your order as soon as possible. You can sign up to watch a lightning deal up to 24 hours before it begins. So that's really hardcore. <laughs> when a lightning deal is available, here's what you'll see. The item featured in the deal, the promotional discount amount, and the final price, not including tax. A status bar indicating the percentage of deals that have already been claimed, a timer showing how long you have to add the item to your cart and claim the promotional discount, and an add to cart button if there are available promotional discounts. So as you're going to see as I walk you through the process to create a lightning deal, you set aside the quantity available for purchase during the lightning deal. Every sale that you get though is going to boost your product's organic rank. Remember that. Uh, on Prime Day, all deals are exclusive to Prime members only. All right. Note, when all promotional discounts for a lightning deal are held by other customers, you'll see a join waitlist button and the status bar will show that 100% of the promotional discounts are currently being held in other customers' carts or have already been used to purchase the deal. So customers can add to cart without buying and screw over other customers who were willing to purchase right then and there. So that's one little thing, a um, little bit of a downside, but at the same time protects you from selling more than you wanted to uh, at the lightning deal discount. All right, so in order to run a lightning deal, log into Seller Central Go to your advertising tab and click deals. Then click create new deal. Then go and click lightning deals to see your products that are eligible to be um, run in a lightning deal. All right, and then hit select on the product that you wanna run a deal on. All right, next you're gonna have to select a date in the future. Amazon will let you know what dates are available for your deal. Notice the deal fee has been a standard flat rate $150. That is subject to change in the future, but that's what I've seen it for the last at least year, and that's what it is today as of recording this video. So you should expect to pay about $150 flat rate to Amazon for the honor of running a lightning deal. All right, next up, you are going to have to set a deal price. Now, the maximum price that you're able to set is based off of the average price, I believe, that you've been selling that that product at for the last 30 days the discount per unit again they'll give you a max deal price minimum discount and again it's based on that figure and there is a minimum quantity as well that's probably based on your sales recently as well so again they'll amazon has all of our sales data and all of our you know pricing data and they're going to give you defaults for that but you can increase the quantity you can increase the discount etc 
All right, from there, you literally just have to review all the details about your deal and click submit deal. Running a lightning deal, guys, it's extremely easy, it's quick, it's effective. So don't sleep on it. I know it sucks to give Jeff Bezos $150 just to then have to discount your product pretty steeply to move units. But again, the goal is to get that organic rank so that, I mean, that's really where the money's made. You know, when you rank organically on page one or near the top of page one on valuable keywords, that's the dream. And you can actually like hit the fast forward button. Like imagine doing this in a brick and mortar store. It's so much harder. So take advantage, guys. All right, next time in part 11, I'm gonna show you my favorite FBA software. It's truly my favorite. It used to be called Fetcher. It's now called Jungle Scout Profit Analytics and it helps us track profitability. So our exact profit margins, which is not easy for an FBA business if you sell more than one product. Even if you sell one, I don't think it's that easy. And uh, it's also gonna help us project our inventory levels so we know when to reorder. All right, and that's it guys. Thank you for watching this video tonight. It was a short one. If it helped you at all, all I ask is hit that like button. And for those of you not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And then if you wanna be alerted the next time I drop a video, just hit the bell icon. It's not beneath me to beg you to subscribe. So please guys, please do me a huge favor and hit that button and the like button. It takes two seconds. Thanks guys. Anyways, I will see you at the next video. I hope this one helped. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.